This is Sergey from Propersoft and this video is to show how to quickly create uh, transactions or check number, checks to print, convert to QAF file and important to quicken and print checks. So you can use it, you can use Excel or your favorite spreadsheet software to quickly enter transactions or check checks. And so the idea is you use your spreadsheet application to quickly enter data or you have that data already as CSV. Instead of using instead of using Quicken as data entry point, you use Excel or your favorite spreadsheet application as data entry point. And uh, we can name it as checks. And uh, so what is important that first line is so it should have column names so the converter easy can figure out what is going on with uh, how your file is organized so we can have date amount payee memo and important check number column check number that's supposed to have values print for all for all uh, transactions and first capital p must be and the rest should be lowercase uh, letters the word print first capital p and then there's some dates then we have uh, amounts you can enter amounts as positive numbers so we can easily adjust it in converter later and then you have payee name and you have memo and uh, so what else so now we have to save a csv file if you have excel you can save as excel it's fine the converter can open excel files or csv files so we select download as comma separate value and then we have this file saved now we go into csv to qif and then we use that file check sample open so we have our amounts and uh, what we have to say that charges are positive just click here so it's all withdrawals because I check numbers. Then we check that doc number has print value for all transactions. Then in this example, we use Quicken 2017, which uh, requires for QIF files to have account name. So we have to we have to set account name that you have in Quicken. In this case, check in exactly account name exactly as you have, and then. Uh, in CSV to QIF you have to set this to check-in uh, account name to check-in and then we click convert create your QIF file now switch to Quicken select file again if you're using Quicken 2018 or 19 or later you can uh, you, you don't have to set the account name and uh, for Quicken 2017 you have to use account name or 14 as well so now we say file import qif file and then we look for our check sample and select it for quicken 2017 we have to select all accounts for quicken 2018 19 we, we can just set um we, we, we select account name here that we want to import transactions and click import and now data imported that check number set as print we accept all so now we're ready to print so what we can does is whatever is named as print will be used to print checks and quick will generate numbers instead of this print value once it prints so we click file print checks then we set check number that we want to start you you have your check number it will not be shown on print because it's the check number is on your you know an actual checkbooks on those templates you have to print so uh, you enter in some number to match what you have on on your checks and then click ok and then and in my case I don't have uh, uh, like printer set up here uh, so I will just print to output file and then 
Uh, what what Quicken does is that it's just in case if you print it directly to printer and something happens, like paper jam or something, it allows you to reprint um, reprint certain pages because what happens is that this print value will be replaced with actual check numbers. So if you say everything is okay, it means you printed your checks. So so Quicken will change that print value to actual number to match what you have on paper. And so let's verify quickly that we do have, uh, this is the file checks, XPS document. We do have uh, this printed as gas company, $100, date, memo. There's no check numbers as I mentioned, right? So cable company, so all this template or ready for template to be printed. And that's it. And now we say OK, and then we see the check numbers generated, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.